Squid fishing using a big net, also known as trawling, is a method often used by commercial fishermen. The first step is to identify areas where squid are abundant. This can be done using sonar or other marine technology. The net is then deployed from the back of the boat. It's typically designed to open wide in the water and is weighted at the bottom to ensure it sinks to the appropriate depth. The boat moves slowly, dragging the net through the water. As it moves, squid and other marine life are funneled into the net. After a certain amount of time, the net is hauled back onto the boat. The catch is then sorted, with non-target species being released back into the ocean. While this method can be effective for catching large quantities of squid, it's also associated with high levels of bycatch, which is the unintentional capture of non-target species. The catch is sorted, with some squid being kept whole and others moved to factory for processing. There are some interesting facts about squid fishing using nets. Most squid typically grow to around 60 centimeters long. The giant squid can grow up to 13 meters long, while the smallest squid such as the pygmy squid usually grow to only around 18 millimeters long. Fishermen catch an estimated 2.19 million tons of squid every year. Squid are attracted to specific wavelengths of light. Fishermen use a combination of white and colored lights to create an alluring effect, mimicking bioluminescent plankton or distressed bait fish. There's a growing trend towards pulse fishing with nets. This involves shorter fishing times and strategic location choices to minimize environmental impact. Squid have very good camouflage. Their skins have special cells like those which chameleons have, letting squid change their color to match their surroundings. Other cells also reflect light in special ways, causing a squid's skin to change its patterns with every millisecond. Squid living in deeper waters can also produce their own light. Squirting ink makes up the squid's most well-known ability. The ink clouds the water, making it hard to see the squid and where it runs to. These are just a few interesting tidbits about the world of commercial squid fishing with big nets. It's a complex industry that balances efficiency, sustainability, and the fascinating biology of squid. Now we move to the way people process squid in factory. Oceano Seafood, one of the top frozen seafood exporters in Peru, operates five processing plants across the country. They process a variety of seafood, including Humboldt and giant squid. The squid are received at the factory, often directly from their own docks which are strategically located near their processing plants. Here, workers might sort the catch by size, species, and quality. The squid are thoroughly washed with clean water to remove any debris or slime. They might then be soaked in a brine solution to improve firmness and preservation. The squid are then cut into the desired product form. This could be rings, tentacles, or whole squid. Depending on the product, the squid may be boiled or cooked. If the product is to be seasoned, it would be done at this stage. The squid are then packaged for distribution. This could be in vacuum sealed bags or other packaging suitable for frozen seafood. The packaged squid are then frozen to preserve freshness. Oceano Seafood has a freezing capacity of 236 metric tons slash day. The frozen squid are stored in cold storage until they are ready to be shipped. Oceano Seafood has a cold storage capacity of 3,250 metric tons.
Calipo Corporate, established in 1913, is one of the top frozen seafood exporters in Italy. They are known for their commitment to quality and tradition, with all processing stages of their products carried out in Calabria, Italy. Freshly caught tuna is delivered to the plant in Mirado and is completely processed in Italy, under a strict selection process. Tuna, after being fished in the ocean, is frozen directly on board of fishing boats and transferred to the plant in Mirado, for the required documentary and quality checks. Successively, defrosting is carried on through room temperature water flows and tuna is directed to the separation line for cutting. Tuna is steam cooked for a better preservation of organoleptic properties and nutritional values. Tuna is successively cooled down, transferred to the conditioning rooms and dried at a controlled temperature. The pieces are then carefully skinned and are selected according to the quality and size. Tuna are then packaged for distribution. This could be in vacuum sealed bags or other packaging suitable for frozen seafood. Calipo tuna is long seasoned, in order to mature and release its unique fragrance when consumed. Peruvian Seafood is one of the companies involved in the jumbo flying squid fishery in Peru, which is one of the most important fisheries for human consumption in the country and also one of the largest artisanal fisheries in the world. Squid arrive from fishing vessels and get unloaded. Workers sort them based on size, species, and quality. Squid are brought to the factory, often in a frozen state to maintain freshness during transport. Powerful jets of water thoroughly clean the squid to remove debris and impurities. The squid are cleaned, which involves removing. Skilled workers carefully remove the ink sac, internal organs, and skin using sharp knives or specialized tools. Sometimes, hot water or gentle mechanical agitation might be used to loosen the skin first. Depending on the final product, the process diverges. For whole squid, the heads, viscera, and ink sac are removed. The mantle and tentacles are cleaned further. For squid rings or tubes, the mantle is cut into rings or shaped into tubes. The squid are boiled in large stainless steel tanks tenderizes the flesh while preserving its flavor and texture. This step is common for products like frozen squid rings or pre-cooked options. Processed squid undergoes rapid cooling to maintain freshness. Freezing extends shelf life and allows for storage and distribution. The squid are packaged in various formats, such as vacuum sealed bags or bulk containers for distribution. Throughout the process, quality control measures are in place to ensure the product meets safety and quality standards. Peruvian seafood, along with other companies, has committed to improving the sustainability of the jumbo flying squid fishery through active support of the Peru Jumbo Flying Squid Jig Fishery Improvement Project FIP. This commitment includes addressing national and international sustainability challenges in the fishery. The fi